Matthew here from the Mini Wargaming Forge, and today I want to show you an unboxing of the new Bamboo P1S 3D printer. Let's take a look inside. We play and call it work. This video is sponsored by Bamboo Labs 3D Printers. Okay, our first Denshi is done. Now, I don't think it printed perfectly. I got one here from one of the other bamboos that I had printed. So the one layer didn't do a very good job. And then we have like this side thing that's not perfect. But overall, it's good. I could probably break this apart. So if you compare it to, I'm not sure if you can see that very well on camera, but it wasn't perfect. But you know what, whatever. Sometimes they don't print perfectly. It's not awful. The bottom layer is okay. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. What I want to do now is load up another color and try something multi-printed. Now, James has actually been working on these really cool trays that we use to keep track of points for 40K and for Age of Sigmar as well, which we'll show you more of if you haven't already seen some pictures. And we're going to be selling at the Mini Wargaming Forge. So at miniwargamingforge.com. Uh, they're not there yet. I don't know. Well, nah, maybe they are. It depends on when this video is posted. So I'll put a link below either way. So you can go check those out. So that'll be our first test print. So I'm going to load up another color and we'll see what happens. Okay. Just in trying to get everything working, I think I know why that Benchy didn't print properly. That PLA was a support PLA. And so what it is, it's PLA that's designed to more easily break off. So you actually can set that your supports are with a different PLA. And so that when there's supports, and you, normally they're really hard to get off, apparently this makes it easier. That also means that it should be like, I won't say crappier PLA, but maybe it's crappier or it's just, it's just designed to fall apart. So, you know, that Benchy not looking great, that's probably why. So I gotta load a third one in and actually try to print. Sorry about that. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. There's a close up right there for you. And uh, so because we set it to only switch after it gets to this layer, there was only one time it had to switch filament. And that means that we didn't waste a lot of filament because every time it has to switch. So if you every layer you have multiple colors and during that layer it has to switch filaments, it has to purge the old one, bring in the new one. And then you have to create what's called a uh, priming tower that's next to it that it prints on that first and then it goes and that way you don't get like little artifacts and everything. But for this, because it's only switching once, and I think I'd have to look around to find if I can even notice where it started. But no, I can't, I don't see any artifacting whatsoever. Um, and it printed really cleanly. So I'm very happy with that. Like, look at that, isn't that fantastic? So hats off to James for creating such a cool little thing. But uh, hats off to the Bamboo Labs for creating a fun little printer. And the nice thing is, because it only switches the filament once, the print time was really fast. So we were able to get this thing done in a little over an hour, hour and 20 minutes roughly, to make these. So we're going to make these available to buy at miniwargamingforge.com. Maybe I'll even wait to post this video until they're ready, because that seems like it would make sense. But if you want to get a P1S, big thank you to Bamboo Labs, of course, for sending us this one. As I mentioned at the beginning, that's a sponsored video from them. They gave us this printer. That's how they sponsored it. And so I had mentioned to them that I was interested in trying multicolored and uh, they were keen to send us one to try out. So I'm definitely going to be using this more to print these and maybe other widgets. What kind of widgets would you like 
for whatever game, whatever game you play, um, whether it's a score marking thing or a measuring widget or whatever, what would you like us to make? Because I'm sure James could whip it up for you. And then we can even print it multicolors so that you don't have to paint it, which is pretty cool. It's really cool. Anyway, so big thank you to Bamboo Labs. Um, so the, the big question is what I recommend the P1S to you. So the, the thing is, it's more expensive than a P1P, but it's obvious why, because it comes with the AMS, but it also comes with like the, the case around it. So it's somewhere in between the cost of a P1P and an X1 Carbon. But really, it's not much more expensive than a P1P for what you're getting in return. But if you're not ever really caring about um, printing in multiple colors, then you can save yourself the cost and just get the P1P. Having said that, one of the other advantages of having this system is that you could load up all four of them with the same color filament, and that way you don't have to change your filament as often. Now, I haven't actually experimented with that to see what happens if you put four of the same color, and when one runs out, are you able to tell it that, yeah, just keep printing with the other ones? I, so I don't know if I can do that. But at the very least, I can tell you that loading the filament was way easier because I just put it in here and it fed it all the way through. I didn't have to feed it to the back or we didn't have to print off anything special to put it on the side like we've done for some of ours. And you don't have to reach around and try to get it all, feed it all the way through. It's, it's gonna be super easy to, to, to put more filament in there. But it's next, that's, that's a quality of life thing. And so I don't typically wanna recommend that you spend more money just so that you don't have to fiddle around with putting the filament in. Honestly, that's not a big deal. But if you got the extra money and you're just like, yeah, that sounds like it'd be nice. Then the, then the AMS is good for either the X1 Carbon or getting the P1S. You can't add the AMS to the P1P. You have to buy an upgrade kit, I think. I can't remember if there's an upgrade kit. It doesn't matter. I'm going to put links in the, uh, the description below. And so you can go and check it out. They will be affiliate links. So a big thank you for sponsoring. But if you do buy through those links, you'll help support the Mini Wargaming Forge. Because uh, we'll get a little bit of a kickback, a small percentage of the sale. And let, let me know. Let me know if you're going to get one of these or if you already have one and what you use them for. So this is Matthew from the Mini Wargaming Forge. Happy 3D printing.